Should you go for quality or should you go for quantity? Some say quality doesn't matter. It's a relative term. It's all about the quantity because if you can do anything often enough, you'll eventually get good at it. Here's my thoughts on it. Filmmaking is a journey, and on that journey, you're gonna go through different phases. Each phase in that journey is gonna require different things. So one phase may require quality. Another phase might require quantity. Sometimes you need both. It really depends on what phase you're in. So there are three main phases, right? You've got your beginners, you've got your intermediates, and you've got your experts. Again, these are all just my observations, so take it for what it's worth. A couple things going forward. You use quantity to build skills, and you use quality to build careers. If you're new to filmmaking, you're in the skill builder phase. If you wanna make something with quality, you've gotta first have the skills, right? We gotta build those skills up. You'll never be good at anything at first, so you have to do it a lot. You'll never learn how to tie your shoes if you only tie them once a month. You wanna build the skills in this phase, you gotta have the quantity. Don't worry so much about the quality right now, just worry about quantity, because through the quantity, you can get to the quality. Now you don't wanna do anything big, okay? Just do a lot of like small things and then build your skills up. The more you produce, the better you get. It's really that simple. Done is better than perfect. Do the best you can and just keep it moving. You're going to cramp, right? Hold on one second. Uh, Hold on one second. <laughs> what's, the, what's the channel? D for Darius. D for Darius. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen. D for Darius. Yep, D, the number four, and then Darius. I got you. Uh, At the intermediate level, you can focus on quality. You know enough to make something good. You're ready to take on bigger, more ambitious projects. You get to apply everything you've learned so far. The focus shifts, right? From the beginner, it's all about building your skills, but in the intermediate, it's all about like starting a career now. From the skills that we've accumulated, how do we begin a career. This is when you shoot more time-consuming projects like a feature film, a documentary, or a web series. In this phase, things slow down. It's not about quantity anymore. Now it's about quality. You need the quality to get you to the next phase. Guys, they made a cookie with the kid's face on it, man. Look at that. Look at that. That is crazy. Like the red room up in her. Yeah. Yeah. At this phase, it becomes important for you to produce quantity and quality. You've been doing this film thing for a while. You've become really good at it. You're really efficient. You've probably got systems in place. Maybe you've even built a team along the way, but all of these things make you more efficient. A prime example would be Casey Neistat. He can produce videos like very quickly with amazing quality, but he's not working alone. He's got a team. He would literally have to work 24 seven to keep up with that pace. And when would he have time for his family? He wouldn't. That's why he has a team. Many of you ask why I don't upload more often to YouTube. I'm still at the intermediate level. I'm still learning. It takes me time to put a quality video together. I would love to just have one or two editors so I could just focus on shooting and uploading and then they can do the editing part. I can move twice as fast. Hey, hey. But it takes a while to find the right people. You gotta know what phase you're in. You can't skip phases, there are consequences. When the beginner tries to skip the skill building and goes straight to the career building, you waste a lot of time and resources. How many of you out there have helped like um, a friend on a big shoot, like a really ambitious shoot, only to find out that that person has no clue what they're doing? It's a waste of everybody's time, right? Waste of time, waste of resources, waste of money. And then the work suffers, so the beginner gets all frustrated and confused. Well, of course it's gonna suck, you just started. Everybody sucks at first. And it's usually really hard for that person to get anybody to work with them again. If you're a beginner, you can't start making career moves right away. You gotta build your skills up first. If you skip the building your skills phase, you're gonna have problems. It's like writing a novel a week after you learn your ABCs. It's too much too soon. If you've never shot a short film before, you should not be making a feature film. Oh, and if you've never made a film before, you shouldn't be doing crowdfund campaigns for your first short film. You're gonna make a ton of mistakes on it, that's a given. 
don't spend any money on it. You can only turn to your friends and family for money once or twice before it gets old. So you might want to save the crowdfund campaigns for when you actually know what you're doing. Before I did my first short film, I had shot maybe four, five camera tests. I'd shot two, three just scenes with my friends. I didn't shoot my first feature film unsound until two and a half years into filmmaking. Up until that point, it was all about quantity. How many projects can I get on? How many sets can I help out on? How many short films can I shoot? It was just about like learning as much as I could, as fast as I could, building my skills up to the point where I felt I could handle shooting a feature film. I made an entire documentary about how we shot my first feature from start to finish, the entire seven year journey and all all the grueling details in between. If you're serious about making movies, I highly suggest you check it out because a lot of the challenges we faced making that film will directly apply to you. You'll be glad you did. I will link it in the description section. So when you ask me the question, what's better, quantity or quality? My answer is, it really just depends on what phase you're in. I do believe that's all that I got for you. Debrid out.